guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing well. I want to show you, I know we, everybody has talked about stencil storage and how do we store our stencils. I have, I have to tell you, I have been around and around and around and around with stencil storage. I'll show you the way I have it now. In the past, I used to use these. I basically took some um, sheet protectors. I cut them up, I sewed them up so that they were little pockets, and I would put my small stencils in here. So let's start with those. This is what I used to do, right? I didn't want feel like doing any more of the work to get these together, so finally I decided, I'm not sure which is the front, there it is. This little album that I got at like the Dollar Tree, this is one that you're supposed to put your, your pictures into. Um, this works great for me. I can sit here, I can just flip through it. Oh, I want that stencil. Oh, I want that stencil. You know, it's so much easier. This is for my small stencils. These are like my ATC size, size sense. Put, put, put. Say that three times fast. <laughs> my ATC sized stencils. <laughs> um, so yeah, this book works, works absolutely fabulous for me. Um, eventually, I'm sure this one goes right here. I'm sure the pages are going to, you know, rip a little on the edges, but I've had this for like, my little ones have been in here, I'd say at least two to three years, okay? Um, why I kept this, I have no idea. Maybe thinking I could put something else in it. I have yet to put anything else in them, so probably eventually they'll go away. So that's my small stencils. The next up is my 6x6 six six stencils. These are the ones that I use and I love the most, okay? So previously, I had my 6x6 six six stencils in this little binder. Um, I honestly don't remember who makes the binders, but if you... Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Uh, American Crafts. And it's a 6x6 six six binder. And it has a D ring on it, which means you can add a lot to it. And if you have to open it up, they don't all fall off. Um, I had my stencils in here. Uh, this was nice. I could flip through it and see what I had. But here's the problem. Let me take these back out of here so I don't forget that they're in here. Here is the issue. This is what I have for 6x6 six six stencils. Okay, front and back, that's not good one, here's one, front and back, or front and back, either way, front and back. This is full. Um, this is full of my stencils, um, anything that I love, uh, Gina's stencils, these are all ones that I had actually purchased from Gina, um, and this also houses those odd shaped stencils, and that's these. They're not six by six, they're not really five by seven. See, at one point, I had them all masked with um, masking tape and I had them in a binder. That did not work out, apparently. Um, these just kind of sit here. Here's another one at one point I had had in a binder. Um, these are smaller. They really can't go in that book because they're too wide. That one might be able to, but oh, here's a six by six that belongs in its folder. Um, but yeah, see, I've tried so many different ways to store these that at this point, see, these were all in binders at one point. Anything that's got that masking tape on it was in a binder. So at this point, what I do is I just take these odd and end ones, this has got to go back in a, in a thing, and I stick those right behind this. And then I can just kind of flip through them, pull out what I want, and go, right? Okay, um, let me see. The other thing that I have in here is I have all my extra, which is not very much now. I'm going to have to order some more, um, 6 by 6 pockets. So when I do purchase 6x6s uh, six and I put them in here, I have somewhere to put them. Now this one actually goes in here somewhere. There's a front or a back that's open. Eventually I'll find it, but for now I'm going to set it right here in the front. That way I know that that one's got to be stored away. Is this convenient? Honestly, no, not really. This takes up less space than this. I had four of these full, and I'm talking jam-packed full, like this kind of full. And 
I needed two more. So put six of these on your desk and see how much space it takes up, right? So that's when I decided, all right, I got to get them out of these binders and I'm going to sit them here in this. That way they're all together. There's one small box that I have to find room for and that is good. So that's where I'm at with these. If you have any other great ideas for six by sixes, please let me know. All right, move those aside. Now, my larger stencils. Oh, this is a packet of stencils that's kind of a special stencil. You guys will hear about more, those more later. All right. Before we go to 6 by 6s we are going to go to the 8 by 10s that kind of thing. This is where I put, these are the Stencil Girl stencils. This one I haven't used yet. Stencil Girl stencils. Um, you know, they're not really 12 by 12. They're kind of, what are they, 10 by 9? I don't know. You know how big they are. This is the problem I have with putting them in here. They all tend to stick together. Some of them are well used. Um, I love this one. Anyways, this is where I put these kind of stencils. Ones that really are not going to fit in a folder. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with them. Um, am I a stencil addict? Yes. I love using stencils. And I'll tell you why. The more stencils I use, the less I have to draw. <laughs> so I'm cheating. All right. So here is odd ones, odd and ends. Um, these are ones that I normally use on my jelly plate. That's weird. That's a new one. Um, here's some texture plates that I'll use on the jelly plate. Or I might just take and put under a page and rub over. Actually, I want these out here. I want to use those. Um, so, yeah. This is how I store the odd and end stencils. Is it convenient? Absolutely not. Does it work? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> um... I have to, this is what I don't like about it. See what I don't like is they stick together. All right. Sometimes I have, I will get these all out and I'll, you know, rearrange them again so all the squares are together, all the, these sides are together. But then I'll grab my jelly plate and go to town and then they all get mixed up again. So honestly, is this the right way to do it? No. But at this point, it works for me. I don't know what else to do with them. So here they are, right? So that's those stencils. And now, so this is the oddball size, the 8x10, the oddly shaped, the actual squares. So that's how I put these. I set them up like this onto my um, shelf, and I don't have as much space wasted. These are my 12 by 12 stencils. Now, I did have these all in a book. I had a 12 by 12 scrapbook um, with the plastic pages. Some of these I haven't used. See, I haven't gotten my big jelly plate out yet in a while. Um, these are for my big jelly plate. I've got one of the big 16 by 12 jelly plates. And that's what these are for. I've gotten quite a few new ones since the last time I used my plate. So I'm going to have to use my plate again. Uh, but these are my 12 by 12s. And I, like I said, I did have them in a um, in an album, kind of like that one there. Only it was with um, scrap by scrapbook. It was a twelve by twelve with a scrap like page. Uh, I'm losing my words this morning. Sorry, guys. That's my fibro kicking in. Uh, page protectors in it, and these were all in there. But let me tell you, honestly, it was a pain in the neck. And the reason being is because something like this, do you know how difficult these are to get put in a book? Um, the inconvenience of, you know, having to dig them out, take them out of their pages. And here's another thing, the pages were on top. Well, in order to get them out, I would have to turn the book around upside down and then it was just, it was not convenient. It was too big, it wasn't convenient. And I just was not happy with it. I'm sitting here looking. I've got a lot of new stencils in here. Yeah, you can tell they're new because there's no paint on them. I do not clean off my stencils. I like to, and here's the reason why I can show you. See the difference? This one, I know what the pattern is. This one, you have to, if it's against something, you have to lift it up and look to see what the pattern is. 
this I know what it is already, right? This one. That's the reason I leave my paint on my stencils, is because that way I can see what they are. Um, now there are things other than stencils down here. This is a scrapbook piece of paper, so, and it's basically just punched out words, all right? So I use those. Um, this is just a little piece of scrapbook paper, again, that you can get in like a Joanne or Michaels in the scrapbooking paper sections. So I use those also. And what I've found with these, the cardboard ones, is the more you use them, the stiffer they get. Let's see if I can find one in here. This is a well-used stencil. Love it. Um, right here, here's one. This is one of those cards. Well, the more I use it, the stiffer it gets. So I like this kind of stencil because it's very, very thin and you get a really good stencil on it. So anyways, this is how I keep my um, 12 by 12 stencils. Here's another one I've used. And like I said, the more paint I put on it, the tougher it's getting. So, so yeah, this is my 12 by 12s. Um, you know, they're all here. I don't have, as far as I know, any two of the same. Um, I pretty much can look at a stencil and tell you whether or not I have it. And that goes for the uh, six by sixes as well. I think once I bought a duplicate and that was it. So, you know, I know what I have. I know what I can use. I know what my favorites are. Um, and you can tell with how much paint's on them. But this right here is what bothers me about storing them this way. So tell me, do you have another good way to store these? I would love to know. So what I've done today is I've showed you all of my stencil storage. Um, I would love your ideas. Uh, hit me up with some ideas, some different suggestions, anything. Because I know this is something that we all struggle with. I know I have. And I would just love to see what you guys do for your own stencil storage. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.